Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. What? Ah, ah, ow! Wait till you see this. I can't see anything. Ready. I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. fault to begin with. Oh. 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 I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... Wasn't I not supposed to... Guess I kind of overreacted. Oh, no. I was overconfident. Um, I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? Lady Yuna, come play with me some more.
So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? We can talk more. Huh. You can tell me all about Xanarkind. She's cute, yeah? Don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? That's not going to happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. Hey, sleepyhead. Something I want to give you. Whoa! You're giving this? To me? Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago, when the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. You really don't need all that luggage. Uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, Yuna. Know. I guess... I guess you're right. Okay, off we go. What's with that guy? Kimari Ronso, of the Ronso tribe. He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. He's another of Yuna's guardians. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kimari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. Hmm. Huh. So, is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. It's tough <sighs> when your father's famous. Huh? Walker's a bit lacking. In the imagination department. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind.
the wind. It's nice. Mm. <laughs> You're a Blitzball player, aren't you? From Xanarkin, right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? Mm-hmm. Huh. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. But I believe you. Huh? I've heard in Xanarkin, there is a great stadium, all lit up, even at night. Huh? Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. My father. His name is Jekt. <gasps> Amazing! Hmm. You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? My old man. He died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. I I'm sorry. He went out to sea for training one day, and never came back. And no one's seen him since then. Why, that's the day that huh? Jekt came to Spira. But. It's true, I first met Jekt ten years and three months ago. I remember that was the day my father left. The date fits, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but how would he get here? You're here? Are you not?
When Sin attacked Xanarkand that day, I woke up in Spira. I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. I was just fooling myself. Maybe it was that day, on the sea, under the burning sun. I started to give up hope. I was in a foreign world. I wasn't going home. This was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. It must be tough, being a summoner. Yuna chose her own path. She knew from the beginning what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way, until the end. Until the end? What's the end? until she defeats Sin. Oh. I hope... I hope I did okay. <sighs> you did very well. They've reached the far plane by now, but no tears next time, mm hmm? Uh. I wished there would never be a next time. No more people being killed by sin. No more sendings for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow, horrifying. Yuna's saying she wants you with us. Huh? I want to ask you to be my guardian. You know what? There's no time for jokes, yeah? He may be a blitzball whiz kid, but up against fiends, he's a newbie. Not a guardian, then. I just want him nearby. Wow. What? What do you mean? It's just that... Well... 
We're all going to the temple anyway. Can't this wait till later? Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... There's nothing to be sorry about. I'm just not really sure what's going on. My apologies. We'll beat them. We have to. You know that, team? Putting people down? They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jekt was a kind and gentle man. Well, not my Jekt. Uh... Even ten years after he left, just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... <laughs> nah. A summoner, are you? My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna? So, you're High Summon Nebraska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> my, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy. And an honor. Even more so than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartella, we're leaving. Guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? What's she smiling about? something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. Are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> ah! What y'all talking about? Who are you supposed to be? Ah, I remember him. Guy from Kilika. Huh? You know, one of the Besaid Aurochs said something about winning the cup. Oh, right. You're that idiot. Don't call him that. But he is an idiot. They don't got what it takes to win the cup. Well, they do now that I'm here. Yes, they will win. He used to be the star player of the Xanarkand Abes. <laughs> yeah, as if anyone lived in those ruins. It's not ruins. There's a big city there. There is. Uh... I, uh, got too close to Sin, and... There is a city, really. Right, whatever your ladyship says.
What's wrong? You seemed kind of mad back there. They were being rude, and... I do believe your Xanarkind exists. I really do, you know? How come? Sir Jack used to always tell me stories. It'd be great to see your home someday. I'd love to go there. Yeah. So, Yuna, want to come over to my place? Right. Sure. As if I had a place to show her. You're out of your uh, league. Uh, no uh, one else. Best. Uh, best. Uh, best. <laughs> No I'm one else. Best. No I'm one else can do it. You can't do it, kid. No one else. You're out of your league. No one else can do it. <laughs> the best. Yeah, right. Huh? Whoa! What's that called? Doesn't have a name. Anyone can do it if they try. Show us one more time, yeah? That was the Jack shot, wasn't it? Uh. How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jack showed it to me when I was a child. He, he called it the Sublimely Magnificent Jack Shot Mark III. Huh. Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. I used to get so mad. <laughs> Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But Sir Jekt was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. So if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put Mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Show me that move again. Yo! Hmm. You too, bow your head. Really psychs you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Hustle!
we don't get separated. Yuna! Huh? Hmm? What was that? <laughs> In Xanarkin, we do this to cheer on Blitz players. You try it too. Put your fingers in your mouth like this. Like this? Uh-uh. Not like that. This. Then you just blow. It's not working. Practice. Okay. Now, hey, use that if we get separated. Then I'll come running, okay? Well, guess we should just stick together then, until you can do it. Yes, sir! Whoa! This is a pretty big town. Luca is the second largest city in Spira. I thought every town was little, you know, like Besaid and Kilika. Towns don't usually get bigger than that. Because when a lot of people start to gather... Sin? Hmm. What about Luca? It's safe here? It's not any different, but the stadium is here. The Crusaders fight to protect it with all their strength. They protect the stadium? Blitzball is really the only entertainment that we have. Spira's a little short on fun these days. Whoa. Talk about pressure. <laughs> That's right. Is Xanarkand like this too? Hmm. Well, there are more buildings. All tall ones. And cramped together. be so tall. Don't you ever get dizzy? <laughs> Let's go find Sir Oren. You think he's gonna stay here? Sir Oren knows him, apparently. You were right. He did meet someone he knew. Do you think he'll find a way back to Xanarkand? In any case, I'll miss having him around. He's still in town, isn't he? I think I'll go see him. Oh! Whoa! Sir Oren! Yuna. Sir. I wish to become your guardian. Do you accept? Uh, You're serious? You refuse. No, no. We accept, right, everyone? Uh, of course. No problem at all. But why? I promised Braska. You promised my father? Thank you, Sir Oren. You're welcome to join us. And he comes oh. too. Hi, guys. Uh, howdy. This one, I promise, Jekt. Is Sir Jekt alive? Can't say. Haven't seen him in ten years. I see. You'll meet eventually. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. What's our itinerary? Where are we headed? Hey, come with me! Hey, watch! <gasps> uh. Hey, you got pretty good. 
You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm, I really don't think that's gonna help this time. You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah, I understand. I think. Right, now let's see what you can do. Huh? Come on. laughing out loud. What? Come on, show me. What are you looking at? We were just worried you guys might have gone crazy. Sorry. Well then, all right. Now, we will go to the temple at Jose. And guardians, don't forget to smile. My lady summoner. You're a summoner? Yes. My name is Yuna. I'm Callie. Nice to meet you, Callie. Lady Yuna, are you going to bring us the calm? Yes. <laughs> Very soon. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're looking forward to another calm, my Lady Summoner. I'll do my best. And good luck to your guardians as well. What's the calm? The calm is a time of peace. It comes after a summoner defeats Sin, and lasts until Sin reappears. Uh... Huh? Sin dies and is reborn. I get it! I thought it was weird. Yuna's dad defeated Sin ten years ago, right? But Sin's still here. Didn't make much sense till now. 
Wait, if it just comes back... Don't say it isn't worth it. Because it is. Even for a little while, people can sleep in their beds without being afraid. That kind of time is worth anything. Don't say it isn't worth it. Your words that day, Yuna, I remember them well. That sunset was different from the one I saw in Kilika. It was quiet, almost gentle. What you up to? <sighs> Pretty. Sure is. I wish I could live in a place like this. Peaceful. Living with a smile on my face every day. You can, once you beat Sin, right? <laughs> but then, a new Sin will be born anyway. Well, then you can just beat it again. I wish I could. Hey, you can. Trust me, you are the best summoner out there. Yuna, why does Sin always come back? Sin is our punishment for our vanity. And it will not go away until we've atoned. How do we do that? Mm. What did we do that was so bad in the first place? Ah... Was it using lots of machina or something? Oh... Wait, was that such a bad thing, really? Uh, it's funny. Hmm? Ever since I was young, I never questioned it. But now that you ask me if it is that bad or not... I don't know. There are so many things I don't know. Well, then we're the same. Such thinking is very unbecoming of a summoner. Sound like Micah? <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice, you know. You know, during a game, you have to think of Blitz and nothing else, you know? Okay. Mm. Ah. You can't think, that's a cute girl in the fifth seat from the right. And you can't be thinking about where you're going to go on that date, because the minute you do, that's when you lose. You see, uh, Yuna, what I mean is, you really shouldn't worry, you know? After we beat Sin, that's when you can worry about the future. I guess. But Yuna, how are you supposed to beat something big like that? The final summoning. It's the only way to defeat Sin. The only way. With it, we can call the final Aeon. That's the goal of the pilgrimage. The faith of the final summoning lies waiting in the far north to greet summoners that complete their pilgrimage. At the world's edge, in Xanarkand. In Xanarkand? <sighs> she means the ruins of a city destroyed a thousand years ago. You sure it's ruins? That's what I've heard. You'll see it for yourself soon enough. Yuna, come back inside.
You will go with us to Xanarkand? Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I'll go to Xanarkand to see it with my own eyes. I knew it couldn't be my Xanarkin, but I had to make sure. Again, Lady Yuna. I yes? You look troubled. Is there anything I can do? <sighs> well. I see. Maester Seymour, let me show you to the command center. Hold, I have a request. Yes, Your Grace. I need to have Summoner Yuna and her guardians let through to the command center. But... but Maester Seymour... Maester Seymour, sir. Do not worry. I will take full responsibility. Very well, they may pass. It is done. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. Yuna, it's time to go. Oh, right. Who does he think he is? He's a maester. Better get used to it, yeah? I thought I sensed my old man there. Somewhere. Or maybe it was just Sin's toxin playing tricks on my mind. <sighs> How many died today? People die and Yuna dances. When will she stop dancing? When will it stop? Yuna won't stop dancing. Not until Sin is gone. Those were my thoughts then. I think. I see you're still here. You do not look so well. But now, more than ever, you must be the people's strength. Their confidence. <laughs> Anyone else would be expected to show their sorrow. But you are a summoner. You are Spira's hope. Until sin is defeated, you must not relent. Do you understand? Yes. I understand. Are you afraid? Yuna, take me as your pillar of strength. As Yuna Leska had her Lord Zeon. Hmm. Lady Yuna, until next we meet, farewell. Maesters are strict. Hey! How much longer till Xanarkand? Still a ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guadosalam. 
Then we cross the Thunder Plains to the Temple of Makalania. Oh, boy. <laughs> and before that, we get to pray at the Temple in Jose. We can't just skip all that, can we, huh? Mm -mm. I have to pray to the Faith in every temple in order to earn the final Aeon. That's a summoner's training. She's got to prepare mind and body, all just to get ready for the final summoning. Hmm... Must be tough, Yuna. <laughs> I'll be fine with you here. You owe much to your father. All these guardians. And Sir Oren too? And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I'm traveling on my own, as a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. Ah. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. Oh, oh. Don't worry. It's okay. Yo, sleepy head. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush. Here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you. But with all that snoring. Uh, oh! Mmm. What is it today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> 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 oh, you too, Sir Oren? Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized. The only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. This is the Moonflow. These are Moon Lilies. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? Hey, I got an idea! We're not waiting till nightfall. Ah. Uh, no. Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. Hey, we better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm. Damn the outbed! What do they want from us? Could it have something to do with Luca? What do they have the uniform? Wait. 
They're mad they lost the tournament. Oh, wait! They're mad about Operation Meehan! I wonder. Didn't Kamari's clansmen say something? About summoners disappearing? Ah, so the outbed are behind that. Those sand plastic grease monkeys. Hey, Waka. It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. Welcome. You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Xanarkin? Correct. Xanarkin, as it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkin. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? Unaleska. She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable Sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity.
Wow, your face is beet red. You okay? He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna, no, all summoners, are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. <laughs> Yuna, the High Summoner's daughter. Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way. We gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat Sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the Far Plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they looked so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? Uh, uh. 
I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jack. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Uh... uh Mom? It, it's her. She's very pretty. Uh, huh. But... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Uh, I think I just... figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See? See so, so I told, I told him what I thought of him right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I, suppose, I suppose, but... Mommy! Just, Just a, sec, a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, Just a sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. You'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> I will go meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um... What? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But 
If Eunice said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. Lulu? I've talked enough about that. What? I'm sorry, just forget about it. Jeez, grumpy. You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words, not yet. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. Interesting. I suppose I could add you to my list. I wish you good luck, little boy. You're going to need it. It's nothing really. I I just uh, um uh, uh, I I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, uh, hey, wasn't that that uh, Jisco Guado guy? The sphere is his will. It says, take care of my son. Huh. His son? Seymour? Well, I know one way to take care of him. I'm sorry. Huh? What do you think you're up to? You know, you know was acting funny. Yeah, so, so. yeah. She'll tell us when she's ready, so hold your chocobos till then. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Somehow, my bad feelings always come true. I've decided to marry. I thought so. <gasps> but, but why? Why'd you change your mind? For Spira's future, and Yevon's unity. I thought it would be the best thing to do. That's not good enough. Wait, is it? Is it because of Lord Jiskel? Hey, that's fear! Show me. I can't. I must speak to Maester Seymour first. I truly am sorry, but this is... it is a personal matter. You're kidding, huh? As you wish. I'm sorry. Just one thing. Uh, I won't quit my pilgrimage. Then it is fine. Wait a minute, Oren. You don't care? I mean, you're not gonna stop her? No, I'm not. As long as she is willing to face sin, all else is her concern. That is a summoner's privilege, as long as she journeys. But that's... Uh, uh. Yuna, just one question. Can't you just talk to Maester Seymour? You got to marry him? Don't know. But I think... 
think it is the right thing to do. Okay, I guess. Uni! Quiet! I wish we could help somehow. Some way. It's okay. I'll be fine. She says I'm sorry. He says it's fine. She's willing to face sin. She's privileged. I didn't understand. But somehow, I felt like I didn't belong. But if I didn't belong with them, I'd be stuck in Spira, alone. And being alone in that place, well, I didn't want to think about it. You're worried about Yuna. <sighs> of course I'm worried about her. What is she thinking? The simplest answer would be, in exchange for agreeing to marry him, she hopes to negotiate with Seymour. Negotiate what? I wonder. What? All by herself? <laughs> She's strong, but Seymour is the better negotiator. Well then, why don't we do something about it? Yuna wants it this way. I just don't get it. Doesn't she trust us? On the contrary. She doesn't want us caught up in whatever it is she's planning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. But that makes me worry even more. She could just tell us. That's the way she is. She's naive, serious to a fault, and doesn't ask for help. Hmm. <laughs> You're probably right. Yuna's easy to read. <laughs> yeah, she is. But hard to guard. Stand by her. Always. Sorry. It's funny how calm I was. Maybe it was because I'd realized that Yuna wasn't marrying Seymour for love. Not really. It was just her duty. Something she had to do before returning to her pilgrimage. That's what I kept telling myself anyway. And well, maybe. I realized that Yuna and I'd never, you know. Yuna, let's go. Lady Yuna, oh, we've been expecting you. We were surprised you decided to come so soon. Pleasantly surprised, of course. <laughs> Lord Seymour sends his apologies for having left without notice. It's quite all right. I have one question, if I may, sir. Milady? I want to keep journeying. Even if I marry, do you think that Maester Seymour would let me? But of course, my lady. Lord Seymour wishes nothing else, I'm sure. Uh, goodbye. Well, we must follow Grotto tradition. I'll have to ask you to wait here a little while longer. I'll send someone to escort you. I... We're all with you. Do as you will. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> that was your line. Yuna! <laughs> yes, sir! Good. 
Seymour! Please be silent. Lady Yuna prays to the faith. Make me! Sphere. You killed him. What of it? Lady Yuna, certainly you knew of these things, did you not? <laughs> well then, why have you come here? I came... <sighs> I came to stop you. I see. You came to punish me, then. What a pity. Ah, of course. Protect the summoner even at the cost of one's life. The Code of the Guardian. How admirable. Well, if you're offering your lives, I will have to take them. Maester Seymour, I trust my guardians with my life, but they are also my friends. I will not stand by and watch them be hurt. I will fight you too! All right! Maester Seymour! So be it. Yuna, you would pity me now? Happened here. What, what? What have I done? Wait a minute! It's not our fault at all. Seymour struck first. He's the bad guy. You, you did this, Yuna. Send him. No! Stop! Stay away from him, traitors! Finished. Now hold on just a minute. Seymour's the bad guy, right? We'll just explain to everyone what happened. It won't be that easy. Let's get out of here. Riku, what is the Summoner's Sanctum? The Summoner's Sanctum is where we keep the Summoners. We keep them safe there. You kidnapped them. I know it's against the teachings and all that. I get why you did it, but... Well, I sure don't get it, Waka. They might get hurt on their pilgrimage. So you kidnap them? I mean, if the summoners don't do their job, then who will beat Sin? You want to protect them, I know. But Guardians are there for that. If Guardians do their job well, summoners will be safe. Right? Right? Yeah. 
It's quiet. Gemari goes now. She's not here. Hello again. Wait there until we have performed the sending. They died. Protecting us. It's not much, but the least we can do is give them a proper sending. Hey, um... Sacrificed? The Albed said summoners were being sacrificed. That summoners shouldn't have to do a pilgrimage. Why couldn't they trust guardians to protect the summoners? The Albed had no right stopping their pilgrimage. The pilgrimages have to stop. If they don't, and they get to Xanarkin, they might defeat Sin. Uni could. But then she... Uni will die, you know? You know, don't you? Summoner's journey to get the final Aeon. Yuna told you, didn't she? With the final Aeon, she can beat Sin. But then... But then... If she calls it, then the final Aeon's gonna kill her. Even if she defeats Sin... It will kill Uni too, you know? to stop her? She follows. Her heart. You know, she knew what she was doing when she chose to become a summoner. To face sin, yeah? You know, knew. But Waka, that's just totally wrong. Summoners shouldn't have to sacrifice themselves just so the rest of spirit can be happy, right? Sin. That is the dream of all Yevon's children. And we will use that power even if it means our lives. Yuna! 
Let's go to Xanarkin together. Let's beat Sin. I told her all the things. Could, could, and all along, the whole time, I didn't know anything. <sighs> but Yuna, she, she'd just smile. Got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm, I really don't think that's gonna help this time. You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in spirit depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah. I understand. I think. Right. Now let's see what you can do.
this has gone far enough. Stop. Play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Your resolve is admirable. All the more fitting to be my lovely wife. <laughs> Stop! Do you not value your friends' lives? Your actions determine their fate. Protect them, or throw them away. The choice is yours. For Yevon. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? There are exceptions. No! Throw down your weapons. Let them go. Or else. Now, please. You're coming with us! Don't worry, go! This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. <laughs> Don't worry. I can fly. Believe.
was that? An all bed flash bomb! Let me go! I'm gonna kill that Seymour! Yuna said leave. We leave. Hey! Uh, you can stuff your taboos! What's that? A faith. They join with the Summoner, and together receive the Aeon. They are human souls, imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest. have saved him. <laughs> he was a man who craved power, and great power he had, but he feared losing it. Trembling at unseen enemies, he spent his days scheming petty schemes, chased by his fears, never knowing rest. You see, now he has no worries. He has been granted sleep eternal. Death is a sweet slumber. All the pain of life is gently swept away. Ah, yes. So you see, if all life were to end in Spira, all suffering would end. Don't you see? Do you not agree? That, Yuna, is why I need you. Come, Lady Yuna. Come with me to Zanarkin. The lost city of the dead. With death on our side, we will save Spira. And for this, I will take from you your strength, Yuna, your life, and become the next sin. I will destroy Spira. I will save it. You're totally nuts! give you your death. You seem to want it so.
Run! Protect Yuna! Go! No way! I'm fighting! I said go! He's a guardian. Protecting you is everything. Oren! That's right. We're all guardians. Yeah, and you know what that means? Yuna, anywhere you go, I'll follow. Anywhere I go? Yeah, anywhere. Well then, let's, let's go. go! Hey, Kamari! Leave some for us! Hey, wait for me! Me too! I'll go too. <laughs> I always thought that this would be easier somehow. I thought that everyone would help me, with all my friends together beside me. I've been trying so hard. Maybe... You're trying too hard. They told me... Everything. Everything? Well, so then, you know. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, all those things I said. Like, let's go get Sin, or about Xanarkand. I didn't know what would happen to you, Yuna. I guess... I hope it didn't make you sad. Forgive me. I wasn't sad. I was happy. Yuna! Just don't do it! The pilgrimage? <sighs> uh, yeah. That's right. Forget all about sin. Uh, about being a summoner. Forget all of that. Mm, you know, live a normal life. Come on now, Yuna, what do you say? Maybe I will. Huh? Huh. Wouldn't everyone be surprised? Yeah. Except Riku. She'd be with you. Lulu and Waka wouldn't hold out long. Kamari would say yes, too, I know. But Sir Oren... I'll make him understand, Yuna. It's the least I can do for you. No. I should tell him. He deserves it. What'll I do if I give up my pilgrimage? Mm. Hey! Xanarkin! Let's go to Xanarkin! Uh? uh, not the one in Spira, the one I'm from. Uh huh. Uh, yeah! 
We can all fly there. Everyone can go. Then we'll have a big party at my place. And then we could see Blitzball. That's right. Your Xanark and Aves would play? Yeah. We could all watch you play in the stadium all lit up at night. I'd cheer and cheer till I couldn't cheer anymore. Yeah, right on. Well, what about after the game? Huh? We'd go out and have fun. In the middle of the night? <laughs> no problem. Xanarkin never sleeps. Let's go to the sea. Before the sunrise. The city lights go out one by one. The stars fade. Then the horizon glows, almost like it's on fire. It's kind of rose-colored, right? First in the sea, then it spreads to the sky, then to the whole city. It gets brighter and brighter, till everything glows. It's really pretty. I know you'd like it. Mm. I'd like to see it someday. Well, you can, Yuna. We can both go. I just can't. <laughs> I can't go. I'll continue. I must. Mm. If I give up now, I could do anything I wanted to. 
And yet... Even if I was with you, I could never forget. I'll go with you. Huh? I'm your guardian. Unless I'm fired. <laughs> Stay with me, until the end, please. Not until the end, always. Always then. Maybe you should head back to camp first. Roger. <whistles> Wait, I'll go with you. Long ago, the High Summoner spot sin here. The road ends here. Beyond, there are no towns, no villages, only endless plains. Many Summoners stray from their path and lose their way here. Always known where to go. I. I won't let you die. I'll find a way somehow. Let's go. I told Yuna I would find a way. I guess I wanted to believe that words could make it come true. Sometimes Yuna would just stare off into the distance. I finally understood why. She was saying goodbye to the places she'd never see again. I wanted to see Yuna's statue too, but I wanted to see it with Yuna by my side. He will become sin with my help. Lies. Forget them. If he becomes sin, Sir Jack will be saved. We're leaving. You know something, tell me! <sighs> tell me. 
sins. My old man. You hit your head? Sin is my old man. My old man became sin. I don't know how or why he did it. I felt him inside. And when I did, I knew it was true. My old man's spirit is suffering. Sorry. Even knowing that sin is your father, still you know I must. I know. Let's get him. I think my old man would want that. You'd fight your own father? Yeah, no problem there. Uh, about your old man. You sure this ain't some kind of bad toxin dream or something? Then, Chapu. I, uh, I think I'll just pretend I didn't hear nothing. I'm getting a little confused, yeah? Why, why'd all this have to happen? We'll learn when we arrive, soon. A city dead for a thousand years. A city I had to see with my own eyes. The end of Yuna's journey. The last chapter in my story. I guess that leaves the newest guardian. Star player of the Xanarkand Apes. You are... I am... Well... Um, I'm glad... I'm glad that we met. We haven't even known each other that long, but... It's funny. So... So this is what it feels like. It's a much more wonderful feeling than anything I had ever imagined. Wonderful. But it hurts sometimes. Mm -hmm. I wonder. I... <laughs> I just want to say thank you for everything. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe that's why it hurts. When I... When I think about us never being together again at all... I'm afraid. No, I shouldn't say that. I'll do that part over. What you up to?
listen to my story. This may be our last chance. <gasps> Someone's coming! Lady Unaleska. Welcome to Zanarkand. I congratulate you, Summoner. You have completed your pilgrimage. I will now bestow you with that which you seek. The final summoning will be yours. Now, choose. You must choose the one whom I will change to become the faith of the final summoning. <gasps> there must be a bond between Chosen and Summoner. For that is what the final summoning embodies. The bond between husband and wife, mother and child, or between friends. If that bond is strong enough, its light will conquer sin. A thousand years ago, I chose my husband Zeon as my faith. Our bond was true, and I obtained the final Aeon. There is nothing to fear. You will soon be freed of worry and pain. For once you call forth the final Aeon, your life will end. Death is the ultimate and final liberation. Your father, Braska, chose this path. It is not too late. Let us turn back. If I turn back, who will defeat Sin? Would you have some other summoner and his guardians go through this? But... My lord, there must be another way. This is the only way we got now. Fine. Make me the faith. I've been doing some thinking. My dream is back in the other Xanarkand. I wanted to make that runt into a star Blitz player. Show him the view from the top, you know. But now I know there's no way home for me. I'm never gonna see him again. My dream's never gonna come true. So make me the faith. I'll fight Sin with you, Braska. Then maybe my life will have meaning, you know. Don't do this, Jekt. If you live, there may be another way. We'll think of something, I know. Believe me, I thought this through. Besides, I ain't getting any younger, so I might as well make myself useful. Jekt? What? You're not gonna try to stop me, too. Sorry. I mean... Thank you. Braska still has to fight Sin, Oren. Guard him well. Make sure he gets there. Uh... Well, let's go. Lord Braska, Jekt. What do you want now? Sin always comes back. It comes back after the calm, every time. The cycle will continue, and your deaths will mean nothing. But there's always a chance it won't come back this time. It's worth trying. I understand what you're saying, Oren. I'll find a way to break the cycle. You... have a plan? Checked? Trust me, I'll think of something. <laughs> and the cycle went on. We'll break it. 
But how? What, you got a plan now? If one of us has to become a faith, I volunteer. Me too, Yuna. That still won't change anything, you know? You bring the calm, and then what? That won't break the cycle. Listen, you want to defeat Sin and keep Yuna alive. You don't want Sin to come back, yeah? That is just not gonna happen, brother, you know? If you want everything, you'll end up with nothing. But I want everything! Now you're being childish. I give up. So what would an adult do then? They know they can just throw away a summoner. Then they can do whatever they like. You're right. I might not even have a chance. But no way am I gonna just stand here and let Yuna go. And what... Oren said about there being a way? I think it's true. You'll think of... something? Yes. I'll go ask Yuna Leska. She's got to know something. You really think she'll help you? I don't know. But I have to try. This is my story. It'll go the way I want it. Or I'll end it here. Wait. You say it's your story, but it's my story too, you know? It would be so easy to let my fate just carry me away, following the same path my whole life through. But I know... I can't. What I do... I do... with no regrets. Have you chosen the one to become your faith? Who will it be? Might I ask something first? Will Sin come back even should I use the final summoning to defeat it? Sin is eternal. Every Aeon that defeats it becomes Sin in its place. And thus is Sin reborn. So that's why Jack became Sin. Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. It is never-ending. Never-ending? But... but... if we atone for our crimes, sin will stop coming back, yeah? Someday it'll be gone, yeah? Will humanity ever attain such purity? <sighs> this... this cannot be! The teachings state that we can exercise sin with complete atonement! It's been our only hope all these years. Hope is comforting. It allows us to accept fate, however tragic it might be. No! no! Where is the sense in all this? Braska believed in Yevon's teachings and died for them. Jack believed in Braska and gave his life for him. They chose to die. Because they had hope. Yevon's teachings and the final summoning give the people of Spira hope. Without hope, they would drown in their sorrow. Now choose. Who will be your faith? Who will be the one to renew Spira's hope? No one. I would have gladly died. I live for the people of Spira, and would have gladly died for them. But no more. The final summoning is a false tradition that should be thrown away. No. 
It is our only hope. Your father sacrificed himself to give that hope to the people. So they would forget sorrow. Wrong. My father... My father wanted... to make Spiro's sorrow go away. Not just... cover it up with lies. Sorrow cannot be abolished. It is meaningless to try. My father... I loved him. So I... I will live with my sorrow. I will live my own life. I will defeat sorrow in his place. I will stand my ground and be strong. I don't know when it will be, but someday... I will conquer it. And I will do it without... false hope. Poor creature. You would throw away hope. Well... I will free you before you can drown in your sorrow. It is better for you to die in hope than to live in despair. Let me be your liberator. Now! This is it! Now is the time to choose! Die and be free of pain! Or live and fight your sorrow! Now is the time to shape your stories! Your fate is in your hands! Yuna needs Kimari. Kimari protect Yuna. Well, I'm fighting! I can't believe we're gonna fight Lady Unaleska. Give me a break. You can always run. Ah. I'd never forgive myself. No way. Not if I ran away now. Even in death, yeah? My thoughts exactly. Yuna! This is our story. Now let's see this thing through together. If I die, so does the final Aeon. And with it, Spira's only hope. Then we'll find Spira a new hope. Fool, there is no other way. Even if there was, even if you did destroy sin, you, Yevon, the immortal, would only create sin anew. You, Yevon? Ah, oh, Zeon, forgive me. Spira has been robbed of the light of hope. All that remains is sorrow. believe what we just did let's do something more unbelievable what destroy sin so it won't come back and without the final aeon i don't know how just yet but i'll find out i'm no good at all what are you talking about? All this time I've been thinking about how to defeat Sin. But I... Beyond the teachings of Yevon... I... I know nothing. I'm sorry. Yuna, no apologies. But... Apology is running. Yuna never run away. <laughs> Thank you, Kamari. So, uh, Kamari, you got any good ideas? Yevin's teachings. The teachings won't help us fight sin. No answer in the teachings. Answers lie outside. Must know both sides to find answer. Both sides? Micah knows much. Find him. Make him talk. That's it! Kimari, you rock! We fight you, Yevon. Yes. If you defeat you, Yevon, it will end. Tell me, 
What do you know about Yu Yevon? He's what makes Sin come back. Sin is his armor. It protects him. Yu Yevon was once a summoner long ago. He was peerless. Yet now he lives for one purpose, only to summon. He is neither good nor evil. He is awake, yet he dreams. But maybe not forever. Yeah, that's right. Because we're ending it. Yes. Even if you defeat Sin with the final summoning, Yu Yevon will live. Yu Yevon will join with the final Aeon. He will transform it into a new Sin. Yu Yevon merges with the Aeon. Then, protected by this new Sin he has created, Yu Yevon continues the summoning. For eternity, huh? But you know there is no such thing as eternity if you end it, is there? Uh-huh. Yu Yevon lives inside Sin. Yuna, listen. When you fight Yu Yevon, we will help you. Promise me you'll summon us. I'm afraid your swords and magic won't be enough. Please call us. Promise? Yes. But you know... When it is all over, we will wake and our dream will end. Our dream will vanish. Yeah. You've been dreaming a long time, haven't you? I'm sorry. I'm grateful. About what? Oh, nothing. Hey, don't make that face. Come on, we're gonna beat Sin. Well, let's see some cheer, okay? You're hiding something. I'm not. Really? You're a bad liar, you know? Yuna! Hmm? You don't need this anymore, right? Oh! Right? I wonder if Sir Jack is in pain. Let's just end this. Quickly. The Faith said they'd help us, right? It bothers me, the way they said that. Huh? I mean, they've been fighting alongside us this whole time, but now they say they'll help? I guess so. Wait. Sin is reborn when Yu Yevon merges with an Aeon. Isn't that right? If I summon an Aeon, Yu Yevon will join with it. But at first, it'll be small, won't it? Yeah. Then we might be able to beat it without the final summoning. I don't know. What if Yu Yevon jumps again? Then we'll take it down again. We'll fight him until there's no place left to run. I never thought it would come down to this. Yeah, I know. Hey, the Faith, they're tired of this whole thing too. Let's let them rest. The Faith said it's pointless to keep dreaming. The dream will disappear, he said. What did he mean? And. What is it that Yu Yevon is summoning from within Sin? The 
dream of the faith. You won't go away, will you? Everyone, this is the last time we fight together, okay? Huh? What I'm trying to say is, after we beat you, Yevon, I'll disappear. What are you talking about? Saying goodbye. Not now. I know it's selfish, but this is my story. to go. I'm sorry I couldn't show you Xanarkin. Goodbye. Oh. Hey.
Everyone... Everyone has lost something precious. Everyone here has lost homes, dreams, and friends. Everybody? Now, Sin is finally dead. Now, Spira is ours again. Working together. Now we can make new homes for ourselves and new dreams. Although I know the journey will be hard, we have lots of time. Together, we will rebuild Spira. ahead of us. So let's start out today. Just one more thing. The people and the friends that we've lost Never forget them. It was a voice from the past. No, it was a voice that's never left me. What is this? What's he doing? I mean, 
Is that really him? Is that... Is he... What's going on? I'm not sure. But you want to find out, don't ya? Well, yeah, but... Yes. Let's go, then. Go where? Well, that's the tricky part. I know. Kimari found the sphere. Let's go talk to him. Whoa, whoa. You sure you're ready to just run off? Can't you wait until we find out a little more first? And just who's supposed to do the finding out? Leave that to us. Have you found anything? Nothing. But there's still a lot of places we haven't looked yet. Must be fun, being free to go where you please. It is fun. I never expected a journey quite like this. I'm not there, so you can spread your wings? Maybe. Huh. <laughs> you have spread your wings. Well, good luck. But, Yuna, never forget who you are. You're the High Summoner that defeated Sin. There are those who would use that, Yuna. I'll be all right. I won't let myself be used anymore. Not by anyone. Ooh. Hmm? It kicked. Really? I want to feel! Any ideas? Not a one. But as Machina go, it looks extremely dangerous. Definitely a weapon. Uni! It's him! Is it you? Or does he just look like you? And who's this Len? Who's Len? Why... Why am I so mad? Who the heck is Len? to go to bed.
What what? It must have been a dream. A dream's a Walk us inside, fighting fiends. It would be so simple to burn this place down and take the fiends with it. Praying to them never did anyone any good. You're the one who destroyed Sin. You should know. Going to help him? I won't wait much longer. You want to see it burn that badly? It's for the safety of the village. Huh? Nothing to worry about. There are too many. Let's get out while we can. The man was right. We have to use fire. Whatever's controlling the fiends must be down there. Take that bad boy out. And we won't need fire. Fair enough. <laughs> Waka, stay here. Why? Wouldn't want you to overdo it, Daddy. Hey, wait up! That was my very first Aeon. Hmm. I grew up here in Besaid. This is my home. I became a summoner here. This is where I first met you. I have to protect this place. Yuna. It's so bright. Can you hear me? Yes. You can hear me. I can't see you. Where are you? Right here.
found you. Is that really you? It is me. Shuyan. I've waited so long. Len. But I'm not Len. Len. We disappeared together, but when I awoke, I was alone. I looked for you for so long. While I wandered, I realized something. Spira hasn't really changed at all. Everyone's still fighting over nothing, still dying like they used to. A thousand years have passed, and they can't leave the hatred behind. I'm through waiting. I'll fix it. This world continues to fail us, and what's worse, I failed to protect you. Vegnagun will make that all go away. And we'll fade again, together. Help me do it. Len. Don't touch me. <gasps> Whose feelings are these? Len? Was able to find. Yeah, give her this one too. Huh? Our wills. <gasps> He's kidding. Just make sure Payne gets him, all right? How do you know her? The four of us go way back. Don't go! It's under control. Take care of things topside. I know what had happened. Everywhere I looked, I found only questions. But more than anything, I'm just angry. One thing after another, and I'm already confused to begin with. Hey! Where am I?
So many things seem intertwined, but nothing leads to you. Why be a sphere hunter if what I'm hunting for can never be found? this journey hoping to find you but I know now that may never happen still I will keep walking these roads I have to find where they connect I have to see for myself was a magnificent melody, Lady Yuna. The onlookers were all quite enchanted. If it brings spirit together, even a little, then I'm glad. Indeed, I believe it shall. As you sang, not a soul could help but realize the folly of their tiresome squabbling. Fists once raised in anger became welcoming hands, offering solace to a tearful neighbor. 
I must admit that I, too, shed my share of tears the moment Len appeared. You know Len? Of course. Would you like to hear? Yes, tell us. <clears throat> Where to begin? About a thousand years ago, Len was a popular songstress in Zanagant. The talk of the town, you might say. In a more peaceful age, she might have lived out her years as a performer. But the times and her talents did not allow such a thing to be. You see, Len's gift for singing was matched by her genius in the summoner's arts. When the Machina War began, all summoners were sent to the front lines. Zanagant was hopelessly outnumbered. Len knew she would not return home alive. Nonetheless, she was prepared to lay down her life to protect her people. Yet there was one person who refused to let Len die. Yes, he would do anything to save her. He was a young man, Len's lover. Shuyin? I don't know. His name has been lost to history. Whatever his name, the youth endeavored to steal the enemy's machina weapon and save Len. However... <sighs> it didn't go well. The lovers met a truly tragic end. Those images we all witnessed are most certainly a record of their last moments. So Shuyin was Len's lover. And so that means the weapon that he tried to steal to save her must have been... Um... Vegnagun, right? I think I can kind of understand how he felt. Trying so hard to save someone. Two years ago, I, I was the same. Trying to find some way, some way to save you. That was enough. Knowing that you were on my side, I'll always be grateful to you. Maybe Len felt the same way. The man she loved, he struggled to save her. He fought till his very last breath for her. I think that Len's final words might have been happy ones. I love you. Yes, there is a connection. But wait. Everything is all wrong. He never heard. The one person she wanted to tell, he never heard her words. Both Barilai and Vegnica belong to him now. Shuyin. I have a plan. Can't call it a smart one, though. What's that? He acts through another's body. Stop the body, and you stop him. I'll shoot Barrel Eye. No! His body will be useless, but if we're lucky, he won't die. Shuyun will abandon Barrel Eye, and then he'll come back for me. What then? My body has already been rigged. I'm taking Shuyin with me. Nooch! But you're our captain. Exactly. I don't like your plan. It sucks.
Your plan is awful. Think about it. It's no different than what we did two years ago. We destroyed our own allies. We destroyed the Aeons who had fought together with us at our side. We didn't have a choice then. We believed that was the only way we could save Spira. Do you know what it felt like to watch them die? Right before my eyes. It was the only thing we could do. It was the only choice we had. I gave in. I accepted. I believed. I allowed it to be true. I thought I'd be able to go through with it without ever doubting myself. But I... It hurt so much. Forgive us. Everyone was so happy. Great job, Yuna. You did it. You saved us all. There were... too many smiles to count. And I know... that I was smiling too. But now... when I look back... The people who should be here aren't. The ones who should be smiling with me aren't here. We had no choice. We had no choice. Always we had no choice. Those are our magic words. We repeat them to ourselves again and again, but you know... The magic never worked. The only thing we're left with is regret. Yuna, I'm sorry. No. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> I don't want friends to die. Or fade away. I don't want battles where we have to lose in order to win. Nooch, I know that what you say is what you mean to do. Give me your resolve. Hmm. So you have a plan. Light? That's plan B. But before that... Hey, Riku. No matter how monstrous it looks, Vegnagun is still just a machina. So we can take it apart, right? Uh, yeah. Er, uh, maybe? You never used to be the think-before-you-act type. What gives? LeBlanc? And I never was the weight like a good girl type, isn't that right, Nuji? Vegnagon can be destroyed. Absapaza, you better believe it. Wanna know why? Cause people built it! Right! Everyone! It looks like we can stop that thing after all! Just bluffing. This relic's getting rusty. Yuna, you have your friends. If we all attack at once, we can do this. We need to split up. Leave the legs to us. We've got the torso. Guess that leaves the tail. Let's go! What now? Uh... Maybe... 
maybe we're finished? Finished indeed. Paralyzed! All of Spira is finished. Julian. Len. There's something I must tell you. Words left unspoken for a thousand years. I love you. And I'm grateful, grateful that you stayed with me until the end. But I couldn't save you. It doesn't matter. Please, don't go on grieving alone. Rest. Finally fade together. No. Wait. You are not let. Try to tell me you understand. And this moment is all we get? This moment's enough. I don't need anything else. Just knowing how you feel is enough. Shu Yin, let's end this. Let's go home. That 
was all a thousand years ago. We've come too far to look back now. Rest, Shu Yin. Rest with me. Let's go. I have a new song for you. Enough, don't you? <laughs> Brother, higher! Rocky! Brother, faster! Rocky! <laughs> I can't hear you! has happened, and I'm sure it's only the beginning. Through the smiles and tears, through the anger and the laughter that follows, I know that I'll keep changing. This is my story. It'll be a good one. It all began when I saw this sphere of you. You're back. I am back. I'm home. 
welcome home. Yes, home. <laughs> you to watch, Waka. <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> huh? Hey! Whoa! You know, you've changed. Well, you've missed a few things. I want to hear everything. Well, it all began when I saw this sphere of you. I got a theory. I think the Faith gathered up my thoughts and put them together to bring me back. Maybe, something like that. Still a dream. Wait. So you'll disappear? Cherish me, Yuna. And I'll cherish you. All right? We gotta stay together. That's what we have to do. Is that what the Faith told you? Nah, <laughs> but I like it. Cherishing? You didn't disappear. <laughs> <laughs> 